you are still watching Waze and today's date is quite special it's the first date in 900 years that can be written the same way both backwards and forwards mm. 0202 2020 it's called a palindromic day and what do you guys think <laughs> I've I never actually heard, heard that him. this is going to happen again another 900, 900, 900 years. years. Wow. Yes, yes. So this is and a great opportunity that, that we're three, here to experience this. 303 oh, three, 30, 30, 30. 30. 30. Wow. God, who's going to be here then? I'm, I'm not going to be here. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> okay. Nobody's met to sell here. No. Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> okay. Um, mm -hmm. Here's what caught our attention in the news. And EC, I think, would like to go with you first. Okay. What we found in the news today... Um, this is a bit, um, um, this, is a, this is a sad note, actually. Lasma official hangs himself on a billboard in Ikeja. This is on as a, a billboard. On a billboard. This is as a result of the fact that he was, men he was mentally ill. My, why the story actually struck me is the fact that, um, don't they take them for mental evaluation? Or some sort of um, psychological evaluation? In Let me you look. <laughs> No, seriously. Let me, let me the fact that he is, like. the, the fact that he is a last mile official. Imagine if he had been on his own. Just imagine if he had been on his own, or probably he had a gun, and he's oh, mentally right, and, he do and he that. was mentally deranged. But is that? But is, is, does the story say that's why he committed suicide? That's the story. That okay, part actually, of what I he read. He actually committed suicide because he was, he was mentally he was mentally unstable. How was and this diagnosed after the fact? The, the family, family actually said that he was mentally oh. unstable. So because of this, oh. the, 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 the guy just, you know, took the rope and hung himself close to but, a place of um, salvation you bus stop. You said don't they go for evaluation, mental, mental evaluation. Some sort of psychological evaluation. But Nigeria, you don't have to be mentally unstable yesterday to be unstable today. Anything can trigger it. Do you I understand? Agree. What I read from the story mm -hmm. was that he was transferred from a particular point to another point. Probably mm -hmm. he didn't like where he was transferred to, yeah. and that triggered the mental instability, and he took his life. But is that is that what that's you read, or is that what the family? Oh, that's family are coming out to say that he had mental. In the sure? story, in the story really? itself, okay, that's what, what I was read. stated. What was stated was that he hung himself, and when he hung himself. He, that the family stated that he yeah. was mentally deranged, that he has some mental problems. And the fact that he has some mental problems was, um, was not um, stated to the LASMA officials. So my take is this, that what if he was a military man? What if he was um, a, a policeman? Police and he has some, um, some sort of Absolutely. firing weapon, yeah. weapon right in front of him. Yeah, so that means he would have taken people yeah. along with because him. So Anything can happen. Yes. So that takes us to trigger happy policemen. Maybe part of the problem is the mental health. Psych 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 psychiatric yes. evaluation. Or what do, what's so, that thing? So yes, like psych evaluation. Yes, psychological yeah. evaluation. Yeah. So I think it's okay. essential that every official, every official is taken in for Yes, it's essential. I have to be pre. I have to also pre pre uh, as a pre assessment. Yes. No pre okay, of course, because yeah. it can happen. To <laughs> anybody, that's you true. Know. No, I hear what so. she's saying. So, like, you may start off being normal, and then yes. over time. Yes, that's what I'm saying. That so it can has, happen to yeah. anyone. It can okay. happen to anyone. Okay. Let me let us yes. go to you. What did you find in the news? Okay, this is also pathetic. Um, today, mm -hmm. um, I think this from the news. I'm um, sorry, Premium Times. Um, articulated vehicle what we call a container hmm. well the usual incident i'm scared of those things yes i don't go near them except when i'm absolutely when i have no, no choice, choice. <laughs> i always give them a wide berth and guess what people will be hooting at my back like uh-uh yep. i don't know no i just tell them jump over like, oh, please no, but it is so sad and I think it's just a lot of people don't even we don't even take cognizance of it anymore because I think it's now eating deep into the fabric of it. It's now normal yeah. system, yes. for containers to so just be falling off the, Yes and yeah. guess what? It killed just one person. Thankfully. So that thankfully. Just person no, I'm just that trying to so no, just, yeah. Left. Trapped wow. three people. So two people are so a woman who left her home this morning wow. just because of um I don't know what happened, but most of the time they're always reckless. 
They are. And those and things are not no secure. And there's no consequence. They're not, they're not even secured yeah, so on my, the my, trailer yeah, backs. Yeah, so the issue and is... the state of the roads is another thing hmm. as well. One should also take that into consideration. So maybe so you in know the process of the state of the road doesn't no, really matter. If there is no balance. Yeah, there is no I agree, but there's no... Because when you're doing that and the car actually flips over, yes, that is the end. It actually falls on people. You see, we do understand the state of the road, but why can't they take precautionary measures? By just should trapping it. Should be Why can't there be the... a law? Absolutely. Simple. Because this has happened so many times. Like, exactly. you know what? It's even the norm. You see, when I see a container from my family, like, please don't go near it or pass mm. it. I am so scared. And yeah. Yeah, people call me scaredy cats mm. and everything. But, you know, it's very disturbing. And it's sad that we still have this happening after even several. Even today. Mm. Today, 2020. Terrible. Yeah, God it's so sad. Of the it's so sad. Departed. In 2020, and guess what? There are no consequences for it. Okay, nobody will be held liable. No. Okay. Well, so you guys had bad news. I have a bit of good news. Thankfully. Um, <laughs> and maybe speculation. We don't know. So okay. it's following the exit of Britain from the European Union, Brexit. Mm -hmm. okay. um, so some people have come out to say it's from the Guardian that Nigeria may benefit from the new trade deals, changes in visa requirements, and I, this is why this jumped out at me because following the ban. Uh, the immigration ban for the United States. So maybe there's there's hope for us yet. <laughs> so this is on the back of Boris Johnson's statement um, at the inaugural UK Africa Investment Summit, where he stated that um, it's time for us to for for UK to partner with Africa. And he also declared, as the chief host of the summit, that it, this makes a new era with a promise to put people before passports. Wow. So you know, How quite promising. Mean? Sorry. People before passport, I don't understand what that means. So, in terms of assessing, you know, whether or not, yeah, okay, so it's no longer, yeah, when okay. they're going to be, I guess, more fluid and um, flexible, I suppose. So, which is why the headline was there'll be changes in visa requirements. So, we should be hopeful. It may not happen very immediately. Soon, but yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's good but, news for but, us. Um, Nasa, why are Nigerians always. Looking to leave about visa days. Lami, why are your children? Why are your I'm children in the UK? It is, it is prayer point. <laughs> it is important. It's important. Maybe oh a change of scenario as oh well. We are always excited yes. about any news or depressed about anything. Everybody Visa. wants to leave Probably. Nigeria in one okay. way or the yeah. other. Anyways, let's move on. So, okay. Pastor Itwa joins us right after the break to discuss adoption and the taboos around it. Mm -hmm. 